Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be all about my beauty essentials for the party season and some tips and tricks as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And of course, please let me know what your party beauty essentials are in the comment section below. I love hearing all of your tips and I'm sure everyone else will too. But without further delay, let's just get on to my beauty essentials. So the first product I wanted to talk about is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This has been a long-standing favorite of mine for years, I think. This is the first tanning product I ever used when it came out in the spray can originally. It was quite popular in Ireland when I was growing up and I used to swear by it for nights out. And I absolutely love this formula in the bottle as well. I think it's amazing. There are two instances in which I would use this product. The first is if somebody calls me up last minute and is like, Michelle, let's go out for a wine, are you ready? and I haven't got my tan done, or you know, you're kind of midway through your tan and you're like, oh, this doesn't look good. This will give you your bronze glow and smooth out your skin perfectly. And the second instance in which I use this product is if I have bruises or varicose veins or imperfections in my legs that I wanna cover up, or anywhere on my body really, I use this all over, I don't just use it on my legs. And it just gives you a smooth, flawless look in seconds, like it is so, easy to apply. It hides all of those imperfections with some flawless coverage. It's just beautiful. It just gives you instant results. And it doesn't transfer onto any of my clothes either. I've never noticed it before, so that is amazing. It's just such a good product. I feel like every girl needs a body makeup like this in her beauty kit. And also it removes with soap the next day. So it's not like a huge tanning commitment if you don't like to be tanned any other day of the week, but you wanna look nice and smooth and flawless for your night out. Yes, Luna. Friends of mine that tan naturally use this to cover their tan lines. So if you get like a white bikini tan line on your neck or something and you want it to look smoother, this is great for that. And I also have another friend who uses it on the backs of her arms. Have you ever gotten those like little kind of bumps in the back of your arms? kind of blemishes, um, my friend gets it all the time and she swears by this to cover it up or even if you have like blemishes on your back and you wanna wear like a nice dress that shows it off but you don't wanna feel uncomfortable, this is just an amazing body makeup. I cannot recommend it enough. And if you're as clumsy as me, just being able to hide the bruises on your legs is like, yes, love it. I normally use the shade light, that's perfect for me. Sometimes I use the shade medium if I'm feeling like being extra dark, but um, yeah, I normally just use light and you can also get them in the mini size as well, which is amazing. I recently brought minis with me to New Zealand and it was so much handier than bringing the big tub. So keep that in mind if you're traveling over the holiday season. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my arm to show you real quick because it is honestly so simple to blend in. So I'm just using a tanning mitt. Any tanning mitt you have will do. I apply a little blob. Excuse this, it's dirty because I've been using it. <laughs> and then I just smooth it into my arm. And that's it. Like that is it. Done. It's just so easy, it blends in so smoothly. So definitely check those out if you're wanting to get nice flawless skin over the party season. They're an absolute essential for me and I 100% recommend. My next tip is for foundation. Over the festive season, everyone is taking photographs. And have you ever looked at a picture of yourself and said, why does my face look so white? I could swear it was tanned last night. That is because there's SPF in your foundation and when somebody takes flash photography of you, the light bounces off your face because of the SPF in the foundation. So what you wanna do is just choose a product that doesn't have the SPF in. I particularly love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk for when I know I'm gonna be photographed. It just doesn't have any flashback at all and it's a really nice foundation just in general. And a more affordable option is the Bourjois Happy Light. I've checked all over the packaging and as far as I can see, this doesn't have SPF and I really like this foundation. So definitely just think about that when it comes to doing your makeup over the Christmas. One of the best things that I've learned over the years when it comes to my base makeup, when I'm going to a special occasion or out for the night is to carry a powder foundation in my purse. So I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that like touches my face quite a lot and 
I find there's areas of my foundation that always rub off and I know it can't necessarily be the foundation, it must be me touching my face and sometimes you want to just rebuild that coverage a little bit. So what I do is I carry a powder foundation in my purse. If you don't see that your foundation rubs off and you're just concerned about oiliness, then you need some blotting papers or just some translucent powder like in a compact. But for me, I do like to have that coverage and two powders in particular that I've been carrying with me lately are the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. Love this and it comes with a mirror and a sponge. They both do actually. The other one I'm going to show you does too. And that's just so handy to have on the go because you can touch up in the taxi or whatever it is. And the other powder that I really like is the Benefit Hello Flawless. Both have coverage, they just help to rebuild any areas where you're feeling a bit patchy and they take away shine as well. So it just really helps when you're out and about and you don't want to bring loads of makeup with you. A cheaper alternative is also the Australis Hello Flawless Powder. It does have flashback though, so just keep that in mind, but it is an amazing affordable powder. It really does help to rebuild your coverage. I don't go out a lot, but when I do, one thing I love to do is to pack on that highlight. I like to get that highlight just strobing on my face. One that I've been absolutely loving lately is the MAC Soft and Gentle. You've heard me talk about it so much recently. I just think this is amazing. It just gives you a really nice kind of sheen to the cheeks. It's just beautiful. And a more gold option and a more affordable option actually is the The Balm Mary Luminizer. This is one of my favorite highlighter formulas ever. It's really smooth on the skin and it gives a super striking highlight. So when the lights in the club or wherever you are in the restaurant hit you, it's just going to give you this beautiful glow across your cheekbones. In particular, I like to apply it just along my cheekbones in a C shape here and also in the inner corners of my eyes just to give you a really bright and glowing look. When it comes to lipstick over the festive season, a lot of us like to rock a red lip. I know I do, but let's be honest, sometimes red lips can be a bit high maintenance. Just being honest. But there are formulas out there that will stay on your lips all day and night. In particular, you want to go for a liquid lipstick formula. And one of my favorites is the Rouge Edition Velvet by Bourjois. It's a velvety finish, so you can still move your lips, but it really stays in place. I absolutely love this. I think it's amazing. It's much better than some of the more expensive formulas I've tried. This is the shade number one Persona Rouge, but there are other red shades as well in the range. I just love this for when I want to wear a red lip, but I want it to last all day and night and not get all over my cheeks and my teeth. I think it's amazing. So pick one of those up if you can, or just fear towards a more liquid lipstick formula if you can. If you're going to be rocking a nude, one of the best ways to keep your lipstick on all night is to use a lip liner. And two of my favorites are from MAC right now. I just love their lip liners. I think everyone does. And these are the shades Boldly Bare and Sword. These are just two different kinds of nudes. One is more peachy, one is more kind of berry toned. They're both gorgeous. And what I do is I will apply those to my lips, pop my lipstick on top, and then sometimes just a little bit of lip balm over the top. And then I will just pop the lip liner in my bag because I feel like they're easier to carry around than a lipstick. And I also like to have a lip balm on hand. And this one in particular is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this range. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector. I also love their oil perfectors as well amazing range can't just can't say enough about them and I'll usually carry a lip balm and a lip liner in my purse having the lip balm stops you from feeling like your lips are drying out over the night which I absolutely hate I can't stand that feeling but yeah having the lip liner allows you to touch up your color as well when I'm going out I always like to carry a fragrance in my bag I don't know why I just like to touch up my perfume it makes me feel nice and special and my favorite perfumes to carry in my bag right now are the Elizabeth and James Nirvana and also Molecule 01. So the Elizabeth and James Nirvana, I have the white and the black, but I kind of like the white a little bit better. So that's the one I've been carrying around right now. It's so handy to carry around with you because it's in a little roller ball and it just smells gorgeous. It's just lovely and it just makes it easy for carrying around in your purse if you do want to touch up. But there's also another option. I particularly love this perfume when I'm going out. This is the Eccentric Molecules Molecule 01. The concept is based around pheromones and attracting people to you. It's supposed to be a very, what's the word, like magnetic kind of fragrance, it draws people to you. And I think it does, people always compliment me on it. It also layers really well with other fragrances. I don't know, I just really like this one and how I bring it out with me is in a little travelo. These are so handy. I heard people talking about these on YouTube for ages and I was kind of like, mm, it sounds a bit gimmicky, but they're actually amazing. You just dispense some of your big perfume bottle into this and there you have it. it 
comes out with you it's compact it's simple and it doesn't take up much room if you don't have a roller ball that's another option for you or you could maybe just hold on to some of your mini sample perfumes that you get or pick up some samples in store they're really good to have on the go as well another great tip for keeping your makeup in place all night when you're dropping it low on the dance floor or whatever you're doing <laughs> this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Think about it like hairspray for your face. How do you keep your hair in place? Put hairspray in. This is like hairspray for your face. You just put a few sprays of this on your face after you do your makeup. It helps to fuse all the powders together and just keep that makeup in place all night. It's so good. I haven't really found another spray that does the same as this and it also comes in a mini. So if you have the mini, maybe you could pop that in your purse, but you should be okay just to have a few sprays before you go out. This is so, so good. I absolutely love it. Festive makeup is often based around glitter, but I'm 27. I don't know if I want to be wearing full on glitter on my eyes. It's not something that I would do normally, but there are ways to wear glitter on your eyes that are more kind of sophisticated and grown up. In particular, I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury quads. I think the way that she does glitter is just, it's grown up glitter, it, it's gorgeous. And this particular palette is the Rock Chick, and there are some gorgeous smoky shades in there, and one glitter, so you create your smoky eye, and then you just pat the glitter with your finger over the top, and you get that Rock Chick shimmer without actually looking like a five-year-old who just dove into the glitter. It's still super sophisticated. Her palettes are just gorgeous anyway, and every single color I've seen, I absolutely love. If you're like me and you love to wear heels, you'll know that if you're out all night, sometimes they can get a little bit sore. I have been wearing heels for years, and my tried and tested method of keeping my feet intact for the night is to plaster them before I go out because if you bring plasters in your handbag, which is a great idea, I do suggest that as well in case you've missed any areas, but what you want to do is put a flesh colored plaster on the areas of your feet where you know your shoes are going to rub. Don't wear shoes you haven't worn before, wear shoes that you know what they feel like if that makes sense and usually where my shoes would rub me is kind of like on my big toe, so I will put a flesh colored plaster on my big toe before it gets blistered, not afterwards, and then I can usually last in my heels all night. In particular, I find that the fabric plasters are the best. Um, you can get them in any brand, really. These are the ones I have. They're just from Johnson & Johnson Band-Aids. But um, when it's that kind of stretchy fabric and not the plastic, they last so much longer. I feel like they really adhere to your skin, whereas the plastic ones just slide off for me, and you don't wanna be that girl who's kind of got a plaster flapping out the back of her heels. It's not a good look. But obviously, like, don't just put them everywhere because that won't look good. Just put them in the areas where the straps cover, where the straps will rub, and you'll be absolutely fine. Nobody will notice. And finally, of course, if you're going out and you want to feel special, you might be applying some lashes. And in particular, I've said this a few times in a few videos, I've been loving Socialized Lashes. These are by Carissa Pukas. She's done such a good job with the brand, and I particularly love the Glamour Shorty, which are amazing for lashes for hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes. But I also like the Vixen. I don't recommend them for super hooded eyes, but if I trim off a little bit of the length, not lengthways of the band, but actual the length of the lash that comes out, if I trim a little bit off, they look so good. I got huge compliments on them when I wore them. And yeah, I just recommend her brand in general for lashes and her glue is really good too. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Please share your tips and tricks for when you're going out in the comment section below. I would love to know what you do when you're going out and what your essentials are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you again real soon.